Hello everyone, this is your girl Naturally Keela. I recently went to Ulta to um, look at some flat irons. Um, I don't know if you guys know, I don't think I've told you guys just yet unless you follow me on Twitter, but my beloved Bio Silk flat iron, the blue one that you all have seen in like my first two videos, I think, it died on me and I'm having a really hard time like seriously I've had that um, that iron for like two three years um, so I guess it was this time but I love that flat iron it was the first flat iron that I used when I was transitioning um, well one of the first ones because I didn't like one that I had before because it didn't have a heat gauge and then this one it was perfect but it died on me so had to get something else because you guys know I use my other, um, well, my FHI, the black one. I forgot um, what size it is, but I use that one for my roots to get my roots straight. And then I would use the bio silk to kind of go through and smooth it out and give it some body. But Ulta really saved me because um, you guys know I have the, the flat, I mean, the blow dryer from, GV, um, from Sally's, the GVP Pro. And I love it, but going um, to Ulta, or having gone to Ulta, I found this. Let's see if you guys can see that. It's um, FHI Heat Nano Weight Pro 1850 uh, blow dryer and um, the FHI Heat Technique G2 one inch flat iron. And look at the price. Let me go in on that. So I got this for $129.95, which was a special price, where it's, you know, $270 if I had to, had to purchase it, you know, separately or whatever. For me, you guys know, I spend, I think I spent $129 plus on that bio silk. Um, so replacing it and getting a flat iron, which was the same size, and getting a blow dryer. And this one is a um, limited um, edition so i had to get it you know what i mean i had to so i haven't used a blow dryer because i haven't had to and i really um i bumped my hair i straightened my hair what maybe almost two weeks ago and um I, i'm trying something different with the bang a little bit further over sweeping it over but it looks pretty good but anyway it, it did a really nice job on my hair um I, you guys can see i still have a lot of body i even I didn't flat iron it today, but I did a little bit last night and really just kind of went through and tried to add some body to it because my hair was really flat. Today was supposed to be wash day, but there's something weird going on with the water here and it's kind of making me nervous. I don't really want to um, wash my hair with it. So I'll get it done sometime this week. Hopefully everything will be okay um, with the water situation. But anyway, this one is the FHI Heat Technique G2. And it, like I said, it's a one inch just like my bio silk was. And it still gives me that great body, that great shine. Um, I don't even think I have product on my hair. But um, I do have a little bit of Mazzani's, um, what is the name of it? Uh, humidity Resistant Mist, the spray that you guys have seen me use before. I had to get a new bottle a little bit of it because my top was messed up on it. But I'm so happy to have it. So, let's see, I haven't pulled out the blow dryer yet. And that is probably why the bio silk died because I drop stuff all the time and you guys know that I'm so clumsy. So, so here is my FHI blow dryer. And um you, you know I didn't need another blow dryer, but if I was gonna pay that pay that amount of money to get two items, I mean it only makes sense, right? I'm a product junkie too, so hey, why not? So I mean I'll have a blow dryer. Um the other one messes up or whatever. I mean, I still may do a video of it, of me um, using it. I'll let you guys know how um, I feel about it. So, I'm excited. This is cute. I don't know if you guys can see that. The little ridges there. That's kind of cute. Anyway, um, I'm excited to try it sometime soon. Which, I shouldn't say soon. Because, what I'm about to do... Which I may not do it tonight. I mean, I work early tomorrow, so I um, will get off at a decent time to do something to my hair. 
if it don't look crazy in the morning um we shall see but i am going to try today is february 20th 2011 i am going to try to go until april the 11th my birthday is april 12th it's on a tuesday i'll be turning 26 so um one of my goals was to lose 26 pounds by my 26th birthday i'm not sure if i lost anything i mean i'm definitely seeing my curves a little bit better um before i kind of felt like i was like this but now i'm kind of going in a little bit so feeling myself a little bit but um we shall see i'm i'm going to start wearing protective styles that's my goal till april 11th starting probably tomorrow no more heat until then i should say the 21st um to make it an even what two months um and then i'm gonna i may do like a length check hmm maybe i'll do the length check for my birthday and then go back to doing a protective style because the hair show is coming up at the end of april and this time this year i am going to wear my hair in some type of protective style some kind of curly look whatever last year i wore it straight and i don't regret um, wearing it straight because i got a lot of love a lot of questions on how i got my hair so straight and so much body people were looking at me like you know your hair's relaxed i was like nah nah this is this is all tequila you know <laughs> whatever um, but anyway, I'm going to try some stuff out. I'm, I'm going to see. I'm going to see how creative I can get. You guys know I love my signature styles, my rod sets, my straw sets that I, which I've only tried once. Um, I'm loving three strand twists, two strand twists. Um, I kind of have like a love hate relationships with Bantu knots. I'm going to try that again. We're going to see how that um, goes. And I'm going to do more updos. Um, you guys know I've, I have fallen in love with like doing a two strand or three strand twist and pulling my hair up and having it lots of curls here. So um, we shall see what I decide to do. I'm not sure. I'm just going to get as creative as I can. I will probably be doing some wash and go because it is starting to warm up here in South Georgia. So we shall see. Um, what else will I be trying to do? I don't know like I want to vary my look every week um if every two weeks if I can but probably not because I'm still doing those deep conditionings every week and I've been doing really good like I said the whole situation was going on here at my house so I'm not gonna do it tonight but I will do one tomorrow wash my hair do a deep condition I am considering using honey I've um, kind of asked the question on Twitter to see who uses honey and a couple people told me that they do and it they use their hair soft and all that kind of stuff which my hair is already soft so I'm not really sure if it's something that I really really need to do so I may stick away from it who knows I may try it out but um, I'm looking forward to just because the weather is warming up I'm looking forward to wearing my hair um, curly more for me right now here in the winter it's so much easier wearing it straight you know um but just noticed the other day it was like 72 degrees um here and my hair was starting to irritate me touching my neck because i was starting to get hot so we shall see updos are starting to look pretty on me so i may start doing them my hair is growing back out i don't know if you guys can tell from when i did the video um after i had got the color but my layers are slowly growing out because it was so choppy for me. It was a little too choppy for me. I was, I tried to put on a smile about it, but I really um, did not like my haircut. And I can't wait for it to grow back out so that the gentleman who cuts my hair so that he can go back in and cut it. Because I really, um, I really was not happy at all. I really didn't feel like I needed a trim. Um, but that's another story. We'll talk about it later. Um, if you guys have any questions for me, please go ahead and pose them and I will um, answer them as soon as I can. Um, like I said, if there's any style that you guys want, I know that the three strand twist has been requested. So I'm going to try to make that my next video. Since I want to do an updo, I'll go ahead and do that. i show you guys how to do three strand twist. Um, my whole thing is I don't want the video to be so long and then you guys be upset because they're so long. So, and I'm terrible at editing. <laughs> can't talk sorry um but we shall see 
I try to do something for y'all, but I wanted to show you guys the blow dryer and the flat iron. I wanted to say hello. Uh, I wanted to let you guys know about my little challenge for myself, my personal challenge. You guys know I've been trying my best to wear my hair um, uh, not so straight all the time. Um, it is a little bit easier for me to do, so whatever we shall see so thank you guys for watching like i always say do something nice for yourself do something nice for your hair be good to yourself y'all all right bye, -bye.